morning. But we need a. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> it's all, I'm, I'm getting it. Yeah. So this is Paddis from RTF. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. How are you doing? Hi. I'm fine. Hi. Hope you're fine too. And I am fine too. Jordan. Great. Good to see you again. We met um, a few years ago. I think it was five years ago at the set of um, Mr. Monk's Last Love. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, in okay. Cologne. Oh, yes. And uh, you're looking fabulous as for five years. So uh, congratulations uh, for thank that. Thank you very much. Uh, Appreciate do, do you have a beauty secret? Because you're looking uh, very, 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 very <laughs> nice. No, not one. Not a single one. But thank you. I appreciate that. Mm. And uh, this story um, uh, was very touching because um, I'm a man, but I love looking uh, I love uh, movies. So um, uh, what was it for you when you're seeing this movie um, uh, the first time? Um, you know, it's always uh, um, a complicated relationship that an actor has with a, a film. You know, you immerse yourself uh, so entirely in something, uh, in, in a particular uh, experience, in a particular um, uh, s slice of the film that you get to see when you pop in for your two weeks or your two months or whatever it is. And, and then it's... Um, it's always a uh, um, a surprise unless you are also an executive producer or you're part of the the editing process. And so it's it's um, I I'm always very uh, honoured to see the work that other people do when I'm not around and and to see it um, kind of manifesting on the screen for the first time. And so that that that's always a, a joy to watch no matter no matter what. And I think that I was. Um, I was I was taken aback by how moving uh, the film was, how emotional it was, how emotional people were getting around uh, me as they were watching the film, and I, th I I didn't necessarily anticipate that, so that was uh, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And how was it for you playing a royal? Playing a royal? Yeah. Um. Um. Well, I I played people in the past who who behave like royals um but whether they're royal or not so i've you know i've been uh corseted and uh and um had to learn about etiquette and etc um so it wasn't um uh, completely foreign ground but certainly playing an historical character a real life historical character was um it was a, uh, a very exciting part of the process and, and, uh, and the research um, and making the decisions about which, you know, which elements of personality and uh, physicality to, to take on. And uh, um, yeah, so that, that was, I think, more of my focus than necessarily the fact that she was, you know, mm. to a degree part of the royal family by marriage. And did you have maybe some funny stories from behind the scenes for us? Things that we don't see on screen? Um, funny stories? Um, I don't know if there were that many funny stories. I have a very funny video of, um, of uh, Jeet, what, one of the characters, and some of his... Um, uh, well, there's, there's, there's Muslim and Sikh and Hindu... Um, uh, your servants in in the house in uh, Viceroy's house, and there was a day that we were shooting with Gandhi, with Gandhi G in the garden, and it was uh, uh, Hugh and I and uh, and the actor playing Gandhi and these three um, uh, staff members who were um, to the side. And at one point, they started doing a very um, almost like a like a wind-up toy, they started doing a very funny uh, dance that was then uh, picked up on on video. Uh, and that's actually not a very funny story or anecdote, but I'm not sure there were that many anecdotes. You know, it was, it was um, uh, shooting in a developing country is a, is a, a complicated um, task and, and the... Um, the mixture of the extreme luxury and the, and the extreme poverty is um, is always prevalent, and not that there cannot be levity um, amongst that, but I don't think that anecdotes are really what stand out in my mind.
<laughs> and if I'm allowed to ask, because I love the X-Files, I do have maybe some crazy stories from behind the scenes of the X-Files. Not today, I'm afraid, no. <laughs> okay, and I learned very much um, about um, the history of India and Pakistan, mm -hmm. things that I don't learn at school before. So how was it for you? Did you maybe know this story um, before? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, I had I had no sense of it whatsoever. Uh, I was really learning uh, from scratch, and certainly had no sense of the um, of the 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 complexity of the catastrophe and um, and the amount of uh, lives that were lost and the degree of the violence. I think was uh, was was new information, and also you know the reveal that that the um, film delivers in terms of the knowledge of the, the map um, um, having been drawn up prior to the map bands going to India is that's quite a um, uh, it's quite a serious reveal historically and so certainly that was uh, you know new information okay I learned a lot too uh, thank you so much for the interview I